Well, hello everybody. Welcome back to my small farm channel for another one of those permaculture piracy videos. I do apologize for the wind noise. I can't control it. And it always seems to burst up when I open the camera. Hide out in the long shed future chicken coop here for a second to block at least a little bit of that wind. Anyway, last time we were looking at the permaculture piracy stuff, uh, the concept was food should be free. And I still very much agree with that. And this kind of follows along that same theme. It's divide and conquer. With a lot of these um, permaculture type plants, really root division becomes very much an option. Every few years you can kind of dig them up, split them up, and plant out more little plantings. Let them grow for a few years, divide the roots again. Rhubarb is a great example of that. It looks like these goji berries are a great example of that. So today, transplanting some of the gojis that are left over from what Shox and I were doing the other day. So, boot should be free. Divide and conquer. More goji berries is more free food. And really there are a couple of ways to go about this whole divide and conquer thing. I've got some cuttings here. I need to take them down to the cooler area of the dungeon. Take my uh, six inches or whatever I'm going to use as a standard length. Try and root some of these tips. And as I was saying from hiding in the long shed, we've got root division. We've got all of these ones here that we kind of broke off the base of the main goji plants. I'll show you those right now, actually. So far, these plants seem to be doing all right. I mean, they're looking a little wilty, but it's how it goes when you've just transplanted them. We're trying to water them once in the morning, once in the evening. I don't know. These plants have been through a lot worse than moving a few feet, so I suspect they're gonna be okay. I cut them down so the roots didn't have to worry about uh, trying to support quite so much greenery. But anyway, so dividing by cutting at the top, and pulling them away from the base. You can see the base of these still quite overgrown. Really we could have pulled a lot more out of this one here but it's got a lot of thorns so I figured leave well enough alone on that one. So let's get back to our uh, divided roots and put them in the ground. For the last few days these have kind of just been laying in the hole from the first goji berry. I've been dumping buckets of water onto the roots to keep them at least a little bit moist. I guess we'll just take these over to the windy area. Yeah, sorry about that. Sorry you missed the fun bits, but I'm trying to keep this as wind free as possible. I just dug about a foot and a half wide, about a foot and a half deep, filling it up with uh, some of that rough compost from the pile up back the house. Slowly pack it down, and then I'll put more of this decomposing lawn clippings around the base of it like I do with everything, but uh, Hopefully we'll catch more of that. It all depends on the wind, doesn't it? So I put another layer of compost in there, and then what we see here, this is just the original soil from the area, but I mixed in a whole bunch of charcoal. Hopefully we'll improve the drainage a little bit. I'm gonna water it quite heavily, and then back to the grasses. You know what else I'm gonna do just to give it a bit of a boost is I'm gonna add some of the overflow from that little biodigester. It's really more of a compost teapot, but it's working well for that, so a little disappointed I haven't been able to get anything to ignite at the end of my hose. Such is life. We're not here to talk about that, though. The effluent is useful. Bucket of water. Off to the third planting of goji's now. All right. Thoroughly soaked at the moment, but that'll pass on through, I'm sure. And then, yeah, a whole bunch of dried grasses on here. Probably top it up next time I go around with the push mower with some fresher stuff. Apparently, this is more of a uh, two-handed job. Probably should have just brought a rake, but whatever. Get back to you guys in a second. All right, and you know, it seems quick and easy because it was quick and easy. All we did was we broke off some roots, made sure that they had some, you know, good chunk of root on there. Made sure they got a good chunk of top on there, dug a new hole. We made two plantings of gojis into three plantings of gojis. And now when I bring those raspberries from the field in here, they're not going to be anywhere near as lonely. So, yeah, permaculture piracy. Food should be free. Divide and conquer. Look around you. See what you can harvest from the wild. Add to your property as yet another food resource for you. Perennials are your friend. All right. Quick, easy video. I am out of here. I will see you guys probably on Friday. Either looking at raspberries or doing something chicken related, I guess. Alright, take care everybody.